Hello, I'm Karen McDonald, and I became a friend in 1988. I'm going to talk about the book sales. Book sales have been going on for many years before I became a friend, and they needed sorters, so I decided to come on in and help Shelley Hadakiyama and Charlotte Garcia, who I knew were friends. We sorted once to twice a month in the meeting room, and <laughs> We um, put the, box, the books in the big banana boxes we got at Knob Hill. The boxes were stacked in the meeting room and the community librarian's office when we ran out of space, which we did every year. Sales took place once a year on the first Saturday of June and friends volunteers came out at 6 a.m. in the morning, got the boxes, stacked them up, put them on the tables, and uh, got everything ready for the 8 a.m. sale. When the sale began, it continued till about 4 p.m., and we had lots of volunteers working the sales. And at about 4 then, we cleaned up, and we needed lots more volunteers because we had lots of books left over, and those books had to be packed up and taken away. And I think originally we probably took them to the dumpsters. And then later on we found recycling and we took books to City Team Ministries. And even later on now, today, they go to Goodwill. But in the old days, they went to the dumpsters. We were happy to make about $2,000 on this sale every year. These sales went on year after year until potential disaster struck in 1940, 1994 when rain was predicted and we had to scramble to get another place for the sale. So we went across the street to PA Walsh and asked to use our cafeteria and were able to do that. At 6 a.m. in the morning of the day of the sale we were a little upset because we thought there's no rain. We'd gone to a lot of extra work to get the books packed up and moved over there. But by 10 a.m., rain. We were very happy that we'd move the sale inside. We had the sale there, I think, one more year. We did like it there because it was so, it was covered. It wasn't hot. You know, June 5th, it seemed like it was always June 5th, was hot. And so it was quite comfortable. Now, in the meantime, Evelyn Kobayashi, a new member and sorter, had started what she called the never-ending book sale, which took place right inside the library. She pulled books, priced them, and set them up on a table near the copier, and the library staff collected the money. Over the table, she'd hung a wonderful Friends of the Morgan Hill Library banner that she made with Sage the Dragon, which became our mascot for many years. He was on our t-shirts and on our book bags, Everyone loves Sage the Dragon. The first year we earned around $1,500 with this never-ending book sale, so we thought, well, maybe we could try something a bit larger and started our sales in the meeting room held once a month. And we were quite pleased with the money that we made. So around 1966, we tried for twice monthly book sales. It was the first Saturday and third Wednesday of each month. We still had to store books in the librarian's office and the staff room if we had too many books in the meeting room, which we frequently did. They were usually packed for librarians, had books all over the place. Uh, some of the leftover books did go to recycling and others that we considered better went to San Jose State. They were either put, they either put these books in their own collection or they saved them and put them in sales that they had there. They were very happy to get these books, which we brought to them several times a year. We drove them up there to San Jose State. Later on, when the library was remodeled, we got some shelves for the book, uh, the meeting room, so that we increased the area we had for our sales. The twice monthly sales were earning approximately $1,500 per month for the last few years in the old library. Now to accomplish these sales, a crew of sorters was needed. And luckily for us, we had them, a dedicated group of three to eight volunteers 
came every week to sort, pack up, stack, price the new donations that we got every week. There was always plenty of work to do and this group always also set up for every single book sale we ever had. They were a very hard working group. More volunteers were needed to work the sales. There were about 20 active volunteers who worked as sorters or at the book sales. The last few years at the old library, Goodwill came to pick up our discards. Every three months, friends working at the cleanup shift would dump all the books left over after a $5 bag sale into the melon crates supplied by Goodwill. Goodwill would come a few days later and pick them up and take them away. No need for the volunteers to climb up and down, up and down, up and down the stairs at the recycling bins. These sales continued until we moved out in 2006 to build the new library. Now things have changed again. Since we've moved to our new library, our bookstore is open approximately 40 hours per week. We have a crew of about 75 volunteers. About 12 of these volunteers come weekly on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, or Fridays to sort and stock the bookstore. On Wednesdays, our official pricer comes to mark higher price books. And she's been doing this for years and years, and we're very fortunate to have her. Other volunteers have regular shifts or sub in the bookstore. Again, we have lots of people who give up their time to earn money to support our library. Our bookstore has a wonderful supply of great quality books for sale to the public. We've had a few big book sales in the program room since we have moved here, and these sales are still a work in progress. We're not sure how many, when, or even if we will continue to have these sales. Bargain books are new. They are located in the lobby and sell for a quarter. Another wonderful new addition for our sales is our online book sales, which has been a great success. We are very fortunate to have one volunteer who is willing to take on this big job. Some of our sorters have learned how to use a computer and scanner to, ch to check prices on the books before they are given to our online seller. She lists them, describes them, determines the price, packages them, mails them, and corresponds to the customers. Our online bookseller is a gem. All book sales earn approximately $3,500 per month, or about $42,000 per year, excluding the big, big book sales. Doing all of this has taken a lot of organization. And again, we're fortunate to have a very organized and computer literate friend to take charge of the many aspects of our book sales. Really, there are too many people to name who do a multitude of things to make our book sales successful. Thank you to all current and past members who have thought about supporting, who have thought that supporting our community library is worthwhile and have given their time, energy, and great ideas to the Friends of the Morgan Hill Library.